Hey ladies, it's Stu, and I'm back at it again! And I got company. Check this guy out. It's Leroy, back at it again! So anyways, the other day, I was out in my yard and I was raking leaves because it's fall here and where I live. And uh, I have a fence and there were all these birds lined up across the fence and they were mean mugging me. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, eh, what do those birds want? I was freaked out. I looked over at my bird feeder and it was empty. Yeah, I didn't have any food for the birds and I normally feed them and I ran out and it's not payday yet. Stop that. I'm like, dang, these birds are gonna start attacking me when I go outside. It's gonna be like an Alfred Hitchcock movie. And I can't have that. So I thought for today's video, I would build a birdhouse. Yeah, it's got everything you need. I've never done anything like this before, and you know it's me. So I'm gonna make this real rockin' birdhouse for my birds. All right, made by me. Paint your own birdhouse. Not sponsored. But it could be. Alright. Let's open up the package. This is the package. Oh, look at these. Paintbrush. You only get wood? Tube of glue. The paints. Painting. Everything for the birdhouse. Oh, yeah. I think I know how to do this. Comes with instructions. But I don't need to read these, right? I mean, it's a birdhouse. How hard could it be? Items needed, scrap paper, and a cup of water. All right, so let me go do that. No, no, no. Hey, hope I don't get it on my jacket. I'm going to start painting and I'm just going to talk about stuff going on in my life. And then we'll do the glue and we'll, we'll glue it together. However the heck this thing's supposed to go. I want this to look good. You know, this is going to be a stew inspired birdhouse. I thought maybe I could paint like a wolf on the side, you know, put the wolf in on there. So it's got to be really, really rocking. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I guess I'm just going to get started. Let's just have a conversation. I know some of you are probably thinking, well, Stu, isn't this a craft for kids? And it's like, nah, sis, anybody can do anything, usually. You know, excuse me, I got allergies. It's bad up in here. So, uh, especially in these trying times, you know, we're still living through a pandemic. But yeah, Stu hasn't been really doing much. I go to work, I come home, but I don't do much. And I know a lot of people are in a similar situation. So you know what you gotta do, gang? You gotta think outside the box. You gotta get new hobbies. Whether it's a hobby you ever had interest in or not, you gotta get a new hobby. Hence why I'm painting a bird house. This might be kind of fun and relaxing. You got to find a stress relief. And a lot of people don't. And that's going to get you problems. God, I'm getting hot. This coat's really hot, you know. So for my birds, I got to make this look good. You know, I want my birds to have like the house. I want all the other birds talking about my bird's house, you know what I'm saying? So I think I'm gonna paint like a, a tiger on this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Cause my birds ain't scared of nothing. Ah, all right. You guys wanna hear a funny work story? Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll spill it. All right, so I'm the bug guy. I get called to houses to exterminate bugs, varmin, and critters, and un undesirables that shouldn't be in your house, okay? That's what I do. Mostly, honestly, it's what I mostly get called for. It's like bugs, 
I mean like ant infestations, spider infestations. Well, maybe I'll make this look like a rocket ship. Yeah, this kind of looks like a rocket ship. Yeah, let's do that. My birds can go to space. They better not crap all over it. So anyways, I, was a, I got a call by a guy and he's like, help. I got, I got a, some varmint in my house. I can't get it out. <clears throat> I need you to come and exterminate. So I said, okay, I'll be right there. And I get there and I, the guy's outside. He looks panicked, he's sweating, all sorts of stuff like that. So I say, where's the varmint? And he's like, it's upstairs in the bedroom. Okay, maybe he's got bad bugs. God dang it. I'm walking upstairs and he's trailing behind me and he's, he's looking scared. And I'm like, so what kind of situation are we dealing with here? And he's like, I can't tell you. Just go inside and get that varmint out of my house. I'm like, oh no, sis, this is gonna be rough. So uh, I open up the door and there's this woman laying on the bed. She got like a bag of Cheetos and she's watching TV. She's just living her best life. And I, uh, I say, hi ma'am. Where's the varmints? Where's the critters? Where's the, I got called to exterminate something, a pest. I'm here from pest control. And she's like, hey. And I say, listen, sis, I got work to do. And she look at me and she say, ain't no ramen here. I say, yeah? Well, I've been given instructions that there's something in this room I need to exterminate. And she look at me and she say, did Glendale send you? I'm like, I don't know the guy's name. This is the guy with black hair. And she said, that Glendale. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, Glendale says there's something in this room that needs to be exterminated. And she look at me and she said, it probably means. <laughs> and I say, well, ma'am. What's going on between you two? And she say, we got problems. <laughs> and I say, well, y'all need to work that out, you know? She's like, I don't want to. I just want to sit in here and watch my soap opera. And I ask her, which one you watching? And she go, Jane Roe Hospital. And I say, Susie's still in a coma? Yeah, but she gonna get out real soon. I said, you think it's going to be this episode? Probably. I sat on the couch and finished the show with her. <laughs> ah, I should put like, like a white snake logo on there or something. Ah. Only happy accidents. Ooh, I have lots of happy accidents. <laughs> Everybody's talking about me. I don't hear a word they saying. It's wolfing. Yeah, there's wolfing. What should be on the other one? A snake. Gotta put the snake in on there. Yeah. Snake fella. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a tie-dye roof. Make my birds feel like they're at Woodstock. Should I do a giveaway? And the winner wins this birdhouse? I tell you what, if this video, I'm gonna be realistic. If this video gets 50 likes, I'll do a giveaway, 50 likes, all right? For me and my little baby channel, that's a lot. I'm just telling it like it is, sis. I don't get no love in this dang YouTube world. Once I'm done with this tie-dye, 
Maybe I'll paint the Grateful Dead Bear on this. That might look pretty good, yeah. I'm hitting all the essentials. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna let this dry. <laughs> all right, so I went ahead and went off camera and finished the product. I thought I'd show you what I did and then we'll, we'll glue it together. Yeah, so you have, you kind of saw the theme I was going for, for my birds. It's like a, a jungle house, very exotic, but still rocking at the same time. So we'll start off with the front of the house. At first I was gonna make it look like a rocket ship, and I guess it still kind of does, but then I made it kind of rocking, and I got the, the, the Stu Army logo, and some ghost logos. Yeah, if you know who they are, they're pretty rocking. It's a good band. And then the, the tiger guy. Yeah, I finished him up pretty good. Yeah, he's got the sun and he's in the jungle. Yeah, so that's gonna look really nice. And then the sides, got my snake fella, the snaking. Yeah, and you know I had to put him behind the flames because snakes are attracted to fire. And the wolfen, the wolf, but I call him wolfens. He's got the moon and he's about to howl. And then I did my tie-dye section. This was cute. And I got my grateful dead bear up in there. And then I wasn't sure what to do for the rest of the roof. So I put whose house? Whose house? Their house. All right, so now, I'm gonna put this together. Now it came with a little tube of glue. I don't, ugh, that just squirted all over the place. Luckily I know how to clean those things up. So I'm gonna bring out the glue gun. <laughs> Safety glasses. I didn't read the instructions, so I'm just gonna wing it. It's a birdhouse, how hard can it be? All right, let's put a little glue here. Yeah. And then a little glue right there. Yeah. We're almost done. Roof. Go right there. Yeah. All right. And then you gotta let it dry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I, I can't see very well in these safety glasses. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Yeah. There's the finished product. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Eh, 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 <coughs> Man, I really had a sneeze right there, didn't I? These allergies are driving me crazy. So here's the finished product. So I realized I kind of goofed up. And uh, I'll show you real quick. Like here's the front of the house. I look good, right ladies? There's the side. But my snake fella, he's the wrong way. Yeah, and then you look at this side. My wolfen is the wrong way. There's that guy. That looks nice. I bet y'all didn't know it was kind of a little artist, did ya? Heh. So this is the finished product. Let me put it down real quick. my hand to the birdos. Dang it. Oh no. Ah. Oh. What am I supposed to do now? Well, I gotta find out if it works or not. Hey, looks like it might rain today. Maybe that'll help. 
Anyways, I hope you guys liked watching my birdhouse tutorial and uh, like my far out designs. Yeah, it's pretty rocking. Hey, don't forget, like, subscribe. If I get 50 likes on this video, I'll choose a random person to win this masterpiece. Have a great day.